I am Teacher Renette, and for today's lesson, we will be discussing electrical and electronic symbols. Are you familiar with the different traffic symbols? In computer system servicing, we also use different electrical and electronic symbols. It is very important to use different kinds of electrical and electronic symbols. For the engineer and technician to easily understand the different design of the diagram, also to simply each component in a diagram. Computer system servicing give you skill in familiarization about electronics and electrical symbols that you can use in daily life. Now, let us proceed to the today's topic. Are the electrical symbols? Electrical symbols or electronic circuits diagrams are the simplest representation of components and devices. Different symbols are used in the schematic diagram. These symbols follow a standard form where anyone can easily understand and read it quickly. Here are the most used symbols of electrical and electronic schematic diagrams. Resistor an electrical component or device that reduces the voltage and limits the flow of current in a circuit. It creates resistance in a circuit. The resistor is made up of carbon, an insulator that usually is ceramic. The resistor's value is ohms. <music> Types of resistor A fixed resistor has different shapes and sizes. The resistance of a fixed resistor does not change while it has changed in voltage and temperature. Variable resistor is an electronic component that is put in an electronic circuit for adjusting the circuit resistance. In controlling the voltage or current in the circuit, just rotate or slide the resistor. Depends on how the manufacturer designed a variable resistor. A capacitor is an electronic component made up of metal plates that are connected and separated by an insulator. It can store energy in the form of an electrical charge like a rechargeable battery. Characteristics of Capacitor 1. It can store electric charge even though the voltage flux is already disconnected. 2. It can discharge electrical voltage. These are the symbols of capacitors. What are the different identification of a symbol, reference, and designation? Each symbol used on a diagram has its corresponded or designated letter to represent electrical and electronic components or devices. The letters are not part of the symbols. Here are the letters used on a diagram. Layout. The form of layout should be precisely drawn so that it can easily understand. The parts of the diagram, such as the lines and spaces, should be carefully balanced to avoid crowding. Line thickness. The schematic diagram is using lines or the weight of lines to connect different symbols. The standard line conventions used in the preparation of these diagrams are shown in the table. Are you excited to draw different symbols and make a diagram? You can be familiar with different electrical and electronic symbols in the provided activities in your module. That is all for today. See you next time!